No temple, no Melkote. We are in the temple town of Melkote, about 150 kilometers from Bengaluru. Bingo, Tengu, Bellai, Arjun. No cooking in a Brahmin's house. House. So, if you want to eat the idli dosa, you can eat it. You can eat it. You can eat it. You can eat it. This is an idli that is absolutely soft. In fact, my finger is going to emerge through that idli any moment. Mmm. Saute kai goju. Mmm. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. I love the pulpy bite of the cucumber, the sweet tartness that the tomato brings, and then the spicing of that masala. Oh, that dosa looks very good. This is a dosa that is crackling in its crispness. Mm. That dosa is almost like a crisp wafer of sorts. Mm. You are also tasting the graininess of the puri that's smeared on the inside of the dosa. You can feel the lushness of the tuppa and there's plenty of coconut that goes into it. The sakre pongal. Mm. Unchuru gojwaki. Ati priya it nange. I loved it. Love at sight held tarala. Idu love at first bite. Hi folks, this is Kripalamana Gourmet on the road and you're watching Food Lovers TV. We are in the temple town of Melkote, about 150 kilometers from Bengaluru. And we are here to visit Subbanna Mess. Subbanna Mess is nearly a century old. And we had visited them a few months ago, where we savoured a delicious lunch featuring the culinary traditions of this temple town. A lunch that also included the very special puli ogre, sakre pongal and the bella pongal. Dishes that, I am told, trace a legacy back to this temple town from centuries ago. If you haven't got that episode yet, I'm going to place a link here and also in the description below. But today, we are here to savour some breakfast. Let's go and check out what breakfast at Subbanna Mess, a 100-year-old eatery here in Melukote, is all about. So we are with Mr. Shankar Narayan. You've already met him in the last video. If you haven't caught that video yet, you should take a look. You'll find a link in the description below. So you got breakfast again. The last time lunch again, bande me. How do you? Ah, you want to eat it? Breakfast. Tate idli. Tate idli. Dosa. Ah. Puri ogre. Tate idli dosa puri ogre. Sakra pongal or bella pongal? That doesn't change. The puri ogre, the sakra pongal, and the bella pongal are dishes that one should definitely visit Subbanna Mess for. Ah. So the last time when we came here, they were grinding the rice and the udhana bele for the making of the idli. So basically, one is to two ratio. One is to so one udhana bele. One part of uh, udhana bele, two part of rice. So our idli is softer. Soft uh, idli is again, sir. Goju. Goju is in the sambar. So, so the kettle. Masala is different. So, bele is not. Togri bele is not. Oh, togri bele is not. So, the kettle. So, 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 plus masala. Oh, saute kai plus masale. Saute kai plus tomato. Tomato. You will say do one minute in kai. One minute in kai. Tengen kai. Ah. Arshina, saasve, ah. ingu, ah. Uh, Urugad le. Urugad le the. Fried ah. gram. Fried gram. Fried gram. So much over there, really. So much the gram. Ma the thickness. Bar. Thickness barake. Ah. So basically, that doesn't have any of the typical togri bele tuor dal etc that you would find in a sambar, but this has the. सांबर बंद उठ कर दो। उठ आगे बढ़ते हैं। ये तो उरु कैटले बढ़ते हैं इधर अली। This of course is a puli ogre that's being served. The goju for which is made right here over a wood fired stove. इस तो three four hours अल्लाह तो tamarind उनसे एंड बताएं। आखिर कैटले बढ़ते हैं। हाँ, so you must definitely watch the last episode where you will catch the making of that very special puli ogre. This is a dish that everybody who comes to Melkote visits Subbanna Mess for along with the Sakre and Bella Pongal. Do you know what it is? No, no, no. Do you know what it is? No, no, no. It's a good one. 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 It's a natural one. It's a good 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 one. I keep telling people, Nange Uta in Helate Aden on camera ke Heltene. So if they prepare great food, that's really what we talk about. And the real credit goes to them. No, no, no. Hilly dosa actor. So it nimdu palle ali ene rote, sir? Carrot, alligator, kotam sappo shunti actor. Yes, Andre, it's really 
onion ila, garlic ila. No. This batter na liye nida sir. Aki, tum bade mentia. अरे ना घी है तो पा बुर्गेडले मेंसी का पोड़ दो बुर्गेडले मेंसी इतनी उम्र था ना नहीं मरता हाँ ओके ओके बुर्गेडले मेंसी का ही उपो आमचूर पोड़ दो एन अ लिटिल बड़ा आमचूर रॉ मैंगो पाउडर एन आई थिंक दैट विल आल्सो गिव इट अ बिट ऑफ अ जिंग और दैट डोसे लुक्स वेरी गुड when you come here to Subarna Mist, you should also take back some of the things that they have here. They have the sandi gays, they have the tokku, and more importantly, puliogre mix, the puliogre goju. And of course, you also have things like chakuli there. What is it, sir? Sir, it's called Puri. 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 Purdu clean madhi vaka na kado. Without oil kadle puri. So there's no oil in this. No oil. Purdu ki puri. I'm showing you things that I took the last time that the boss loved, and therefore I'm going to be carrying them back today. Idu? Tomato. Tomato apala. So this is a jackfruit papad. So this is a puff rice sundae ke. And you should also when you come here take of course the there's a puliogre paste, and you should also take some of the tokus. Fantastic. It's side na liye naamile to kold tere. Hogo aga. I think on that note, let's sit for some breakfast. Thank you. Breakfast to get slightly chicken dale. <laughs> so when you come here for lunch, you get a dotta dale. You get a big leaf. But when you come here for breakfast, it's a small dale because after all, the breakfast menu is shorter as opposed to the lunch menu, which runs into a reasonable large number of items. Really, just the general people do. They come to the temple and then they come here. Temple person, no temple, no male court. Male court is the just the general Jura matter. There are seventy percent. All the devotees are available. Ah. Male court is the Grama Ashti. The Grama. This is the Ali Ashti. The Grama. Devotees are not called Jura matter. Male court is the Urdu. Second devotees are called Urdu. Ah. Grama devotees are called Urdu. Urdu is called. Ah. But this devotees are not called. So he says in other places. You will have a settlement, and they will build a temple. But here, the temple is the basis for the lives of everybody out here. So everybody is dependent on the temples. Ninety percent. Ninety percent temple. Ninety percent. So he says ninety percent of all activities is because of the temple. That's my idli. That's the idli. <laughs> This is an idli that's extremely soft. Idu goju. Ah, some tuppa on my idli. Mangka kuchu. Soft is it? Yeah. Ah. So last time when banda ga, they were grinding the udna bele awaga. So I was talking to him, and the course of the conversation, I said, "Idu udna bele ge eshtu bhaga akhi bele the. How much rice?" So he says, and which is typically a fact, people add anywhere between three portions of rice, four portions oh, oh. of rice, but here. They add only two portions of rice, and I think that's what results in that very soft, very fluffy, rather pliable idli. This is an idli that is absolutely soft. In fact, my finger is going to emerge through that idli any moment. Hmm, mildly taste. Hello, the new pure oil idli. There's a slight tinge of tartness, but then a tuppa. It tuppa or tuppa, nani tuppa? No, no. It tuppa is the bill. Tuppa, can I tell you? Old standard. So he says, if I have the bill, that the original is written, and there is a provenance to the ingredients. I know where it is coming from, Allah. Bill is written. Okay, let's go now for that. This is a fresh cucumber. Hmm. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. So what are you doing? Huli ko dai dai. Then you unsee na tomato. Tomato with unsee na. And then you bite into that pulpy texture of the saute ka, of the cucumber. Hmm. Oh, that's delicious. We used to typically eating a sambar with the idli, and this is the first time that I'm tasting a goju. Hmm. I must say this is absolutely delicious. I love the pulpy bite of the cucumber. The sweet tartness that the tomato brings. And then the spicing of that masala. You can feel that spicy hit the moment you place that goju in your mouth. And then what remains is the lingering warmth of the spices that have gone in. Super idea, sir. Idu, very good. Now first time taste marte idu idu. This Southega goju. Of course, every day change aakte idu the. 
So when you come here, masala onde vegetable chai. Masala onde, ha. So the flavor nim ge rathe do kara, do warming, do slight kuli, adela hi rathe. But vegetable change aage the. There's an okra ne do saswe, so you have the nuttiness of that saswe. हम्म हम इंगु तेंगु पहले लड़के आ लास्ट टाइम सही लेते रो ब्राह्मण मने ने ली हिंगु तेंगु बेल्ला विच मींस विदाउट द एसोफोटीडा विदाउट द कोकनट विदाउट द बेल्ला अड़िके वे इल्ला आई लव इस लाइंस इंगु तेंगु पहले लड़के ने इल्ला हम्म एब्सोल्युटली डेलिशियस वाइट पत्ते के लिए मसाले को सुपर चैम्पियन Mm. You know, much as I wanted to return for the breakfast, I think I'm also returning to just chat with Mr. Shankar Narayan because I enjoyed my conversation with him so much the last time. <laughs> so even though I'm bandhu thene idhi idli doshe ke kuda, matra ni matra beeti maal lege kuda. So I've also come to meet him, and I think that's a beautiful thing about food in places like these because after all, yes, vyapara marta re, but our do outlook. With the way they cook the food, the way they serve the food is all served with a lot of love, and it's like you've entered their home. After all, you're savoring this meal in their home. Mane mele, alla. They live upstairs and they serve people downstairs. That's a beautiful thing about places like these. Hmm. Chutney bada mild hai. How mild? Aad kaal hai jila. Aad kaal hai to kya chile kaal hai? The chutney leaf nangey jasti, coconut to the gari gari parta hai, and then the grainy texture of the urukat leaf. There's also some seasoning there, but the chutney is rather mellow. Hmm. And the tengu is a slight sweetness side there really. So that gochu is kara, and the chutney is rather rather pleasant, rather mellow. Let's now taste that Mavin Kai gochu. Hmm. ये दले मावन का ही जीर के मेनसु मेंटिया सास वे इंगु कर्बन सोपु बेला दिस लेयर्स ऑफ फ्लेवर दैट आई एम टेस्टिंग इन दैट गुड जो इधो बोटल ली मारते रहा ओ दिस इज़ आल्सो समथिंग दैट आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड इधो चिली एंड यूज़ मारते रहा सर इधर ले बैडगी एंड गुड फिफ्टी 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 स निम्नलिखित दो बेल्ला दो स्वीटनेस कोड़ा बरत है एंड द थिंग अबाउट बेल्ला स्वीटनेस इज़ दैट द स्वीटनेस इज़ क्वाइट अवधी बेल्ला को देश है ना पांता लड़के हाँ उप्पु उड़ी कर जाइंट इस बेर बेर से लास्ट बट किस यस्त सो ही सेज द फंक्शन ऑफ बेल्ला इज़ आल्सो टू फैसिलिटेट द यूनियन ऑफ � Toku Kara, Jasi Kara Adrali. As I get ready for my dosa that will arrive on my leave shortly, I should cleanse my palate of all the spice with some of that Tengu Urugad Le Fried Gram Chutney. Really bad as soft as that. I think there's a studied silence at the back as everybody's enjoying their breakfast. I'm the only one making the most noise. That's the silence of contentment, having savoured that idli with the chutney and goju. Dose adam ele na no, solpa bella pongal to kuro. Bella sakre bella. Ah, bella sakre arad sa okay. Wo light banta okay. Light hokta barate ele. So we have the dosa here, uh, palya de adrali. So this palya doesn't have any onions like you typically would expect in a masal dosa. But instead there's plenty of ginger. Mm. And also some lime. This is a dosa that is crackling in its crispness. Mm. I'm certainly tasting the warmth of the ginger. Of course, because there's no onions, the potatoes do feel a bit stodgy as opposed to a typical masal dosa, but that stodginess is compensated by the sprightly fervor of the ginger. Is this a green chili? Ah, there's also a tinge of green chili that you taste somewhere, and for good measure, they also have shavings of carrot in that. Namaskara. How are you? 
हाँ नोट दे रहा थैंक यू खुशी आ गई थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड एज ए बोन क्यू दैट ग्रीन चिली इज रिविलिंग इट सेल्फ हियर आई एम तो दो से बड़ा क्रिस्पी दे तुम दो कडले बेड़े आते सो कडले बेड़े तो हिट आते दो So that puri is a combination of the roasted gram flour. You have some chilies that go into it, and also some amchur or the dried mango powder. Mm. So I think the texture of the dosa with this crispness is the sort that you don't really realize there's no onions in that because you're happily engrossed in the overall texture and the taste of that dosa. I think I need a little bit of spice in this, so I'm going to go for that gojju. Mmm. Super gojju. Super gojju. Unchu ro, unchu ro gojju ake. Ati priya it nange. I loved it. Love it sight held tar ala. Idu love it first bite. Super. And if the spice of the gojju gets too much, go for some of the chutney. With its sweet, pleasant personality, to wipe off some of the spicy flavour before you dive back into that. Gojju. Mm. That gojju is happiness. Happiness here at Subarna Mess. And towards the end, you bring it all together. Also a bit of the Mahavin Kai. Mm. Regular birthday rally. Favorite in Puli Ogre. Pongal. Chana hi rota hai. I remember loving these both the pongals the last time I tasted, and I'm so happy to see them again. It's almost like I'm being reunited with my long lost friends. Uh, I'm going to make a beginning with that sakre pongal. You can feel the lushness of the tuppa, and there's plenty of coconut that goes into it. So basically, the pongals and most of the exciting dishes that you will find actually the tradition emerged as naivedium, as an offering to the gods, and that's really how the pongals. We first made the sakre pongal. Mm. I love the starchy play of the rice and the moong dal with the grainy crunch of the coconut. Mm. Mm. And then coconut traps all the flavors. Also some golden beef, some toasted cashew there. And what was very interesting that I learned the last time around: one kg rice, half kg half kilo of moong dal is about four kilos of sugar. Oh, four kilos. Four kilos of sugar and two kilos of ghee. One one pound of ghee. One and a half kilos of ghee. So it's loaded more in the sugar and the ghee, but the fervor of the ghee is such that it takes over your palate entirely. Hmm, this is absolutely delicious. And the coconut really has a flavor here today. The starchiness of the rice, the sweetness of the sugar, and the lushness of the tuppa is all held captive in that grainy bite of the coconut. and the toasted cashew serves to offer your palate some relief from the butteriness of the ghee and the sweetness of the sugar like they say save the best for the last we come up to the bella pongal sometimes you play something in your mouth and you overcome with emotions that you can barely speak well this dish this bella pongal is certainly that what reigns supreme in this is the earthy sweetness of the bella that dominates your palate entirely alongside the tuppa even after licking my fingers clean there is still much of the tuppa that remains Gives you an idea of how much tuppa has gone into this. You must definitely watch my last video on Subarna Mess, where we've talked about the pongal, the puliogre, its making, etc., in great 
detail. For now, I'm happy just to savor a delicious morsel of heavenly food here in the temple town of Melukote. Some chupriogre. Huh? Chupriogre. Puliogre. Chur, it's the spoon. Okay, one spoon. Mr. Shankar Narayan says, how can you live without tasting some of the puliogre? And he certainly has a point. I'm going to be content just eating that puliogre, not talking about it. To know more about it, you're going to catch the last episode of Subbanna Mess on Food Lovers TV. I hope you've enjoyed this delicious breakfast episode here at Subbanna Mess in Melukote. People visit Melukote to of course go to the temple, pay their respects and then come here to dine. You must do that. But based on the two visits that I've made to Subbanna Mess, I can tell you that this century old establishment too can be a reason for you to visit this temple town. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating. Well, I'm done with my pongal and the puliogre. Perhaps leave with a bit of the good juice on my palate. Goodbye. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!